new save icon. Evil plot. That's gonna. New fan location equals probably horrible background noise. Large reverberant apartment. Long load time. Cry. Why is Hunter just chilling? I thought he hated dragons. Why are all the eggs just out? Hey, it's Bianca. Bianca's evil? Fuck you, Bianca. <laughs> Look at these Rhinoch looking motherfuckers. You can tell she won't be evil forever because she's attractive. And then she'll end up fucking one of the side characters. Speaking of. You're literally surrounded by like wild animals that can kill a rabbit within five seconds. And she got away. God, you guys are just so whack. <laughs> Powerful villain emerges. I don't remember the other two games getting this fucking hype. If your boss is condescending, looks shit in makeup, and is fat, she's a he or she is a bad person. Says every child's game or piece of media ever. It's like, some people are just unfortunate. Just leave them alone, man. No. They're not pretty. They deserve death. It's been ten days. Still cannot get his head out of the hole. It's Winnie the Pooh, motherfucker. A collector. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you name the Forgotten Realms. Hunter, why are you even here? So is Avalar another dimension and he's just like... Is there a world map in somewhere that we can just look at and we can go, hey look. The collectathon begins now. Fuck orbs. The new spherical object is eggs. Hey, this is pretty pretty though. So I feel bad because throughout the uh, throughout the second game, I was kind of sporadically saying I don't care much for the third game. Hey, keep all your shit. That's good. Uh, which means I should be able to swim. And one of my friends was like, uh, a couple of my friends were like, actually it's their favorite iteration of the game, and I never really uh, played it past the first time. Oh, we hatched an egg. Great. Hey guys, we just hatched the egg due to our raw fucking dragon musk. Awesome. It's gonna be like a baby boom after the end of this game. Doesn't tell you how many total there are, does it? Let's check the guidebook. We have one. The next hint is, hey, learn gliding. Not really. Oh, that's actually really helpful. Okay, so, like, how come it took them three fucking games to tell me... That's not center. And I couldn't... The fuck. If I could have done this for the last two games and I knew about it. This strafing... Oh. Fuck these people. Anyway, all like two of my friends were like, Hey, man. Uh, actually... Spyro uh, 3 is my favorite one, 
and I think you'll like the ending because it involves money bags and like him getting fucked and I was like oh cool not literally because that would be a very different game uh, <laughs> bear down uh, <laughs> sunny villa this is a portal Also edgy. I can see up your dress. Your dress has a weird cut. She sounds like Ken Beast or something from uh, Phineas and Phil. Wow, you told me. Joke's on you, you end up being Hunter's girlfriend, so who's the winner here, really? <laughs> Me, because I'm a fucking dragon, and you're someone's girlfriend, so, eh. Have fun dealing with that furry, horrible furry image. Aw. Oh, they gave her hair. Maybe. We'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. So I'll see Moneybags is back trying to get some sweet ass cheddar off you. Uh, but like, um, we're just gonna... I never really gave this the time of day. I only remember the final world being a pretty drab disappointment from this game. That's the only thing that's stuck in my head. People saying, really, this, this the environment design really took a downhill turn. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, I must have misremembered super hard because this is... A lot of it feels like Autumn Plains or what Autumn Plains could have been given better hard drive usage. Teleporting Hunter. Creepy Hunter loves to teleport. Because that's logical and what I expected that guy's accent to sound like. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <coughs> So I thought, well, I'm, it's not like I was going to finish this uh, trilogy by ignoring the third game by going, ah, oh, yeah, I don't, didn't really like the third game. So never mind, no, no more third game. Because I did, like, Liam the Dragon. <laughs> Liam's fat. And a crybaby. What a fucking nerd. Anyway. Uh... I go near that. I go near it all. No. Okay, you need to stop talking. Thanks, man. I had no idea. I don't know the high tech shit, man. I know the sick diving. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've been playing a lot of fighting games, but here's more platformers, because my channel's been nothing but brightly colored platformers for the past three months almost. So that's fun. Anticipate me playing some Tekken 7 and Dragon Ball Fighter Z at some point, if I can be bothered to learn combo and do combo. Because uh, gonna need a tonal change after all of this. I've, I've been having fun though. I've been having fun. Yeah, 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 Bruce. Bruce. Just like pops the magic dragon. Ah. <sighs> Okay, you can play as Fox in this game. I thought this game you could play as Hunter, but you can't. That's another game, I think. You can play as many characters though, including a kangaroo who's the most outrageously Australian accented kangaroo I've ever heard in my life, because of course she is. And she's called Sheila. <laughs> of course she's called Sheila. 
Why don't she be called Sheila? That's what all the girls are called in Australia. Sheila. I don't know what's happening to my accent. It's definitely not Australian. A lot more things locked behind the egg wall this time, and a lot less behind the money bags wall, so obviously he learned. Uh, yeah, so I think I cleared out a lot of this. Oh, shit. Uh, let's have a little peep around. I want to get that other egg because it just said practice gliding or some really sarcastic fucking glide. <laughs> okay. Calm your farm, man. Oh, I'll go talk to Hunter and he'll be like, Yo, bro, this is fucking cool, eh? Super, super fruit and tubular, man. I'm not dated at all. I sound totally relevant for the 90s. Yo. It's a thing, man. Yo, I'm Again. Because you are a flying squirrel after all, right? Oh, cloud spies, that sounds fancy. I saw something shiny in that cave. Oh my god, it was red. Thanks for any launching. Whoa. I did not like that. Oh, are you gonna smoke it? <laughs> He's called Coltrane. Robbie Coltrane. I know that name, but I don't know anything about that person, so don't shoot me. Oh, a flying mini game in the world. Thanks. It's all like I'd almost say like, who the fuck needs to be told at this point? Oh, shit, that runs out quick. Glad I missed everything. That encourages you to fuck up because you want to collect all the shinies, right? Uh, yeah, I was saying in the second game, seriously, who needs to be told at this point? And in the third game, it feels like sarcasm intensifying. But then some of my friends told me that they played this in the most ass-backwards way possible, where they started at three <laughs> and then went backwards and went, Boy, I'm feeling the feature creep in reverse, and that means I think the first games were boring as fuck, and it's like, well, they were good for their time, and it was a relatively simple to understand platformer, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just two adds a lot of stuff, and three adds more on top of that. So it's like when I was playing Crash 2, and I say I don't particularly care for it, it's because, well, yeah, of course I don't. Because, uh... Surprise, surprise, I'd already played 3 by then, and I was like, well, 3 has loads more stuff. It's like, of course it does. Amy, the dragon. They look really weird, these dragons. Fine, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? It just gave this really weird impression for me, because then I'm sat there like, oh. And, like, that's what he felt for the whole Spyro... Spyro Spyro franchise was just this weird ass backwards oh it just gets worse with each game because it's like there's less stuff in each game you know we Isn't she our enemy? She didn't have hair before, and I don't like that she has hair now. That's why they 
grateful it's a gold. It's a gold about it. <laughs> Sheila. Sheila was literally just a bland ass kangaroo. Like she had no clothes, no hair, no anything, and she had the most flatly, outrageously Australian accent you've ever heard. I noticed they dialed a lot of it down, you know, because a lot of the accents and a lot of what they were doing was just a little egregious. Now, what was the thing I noticed in Spyro? In Spyro Two, the cavemen in the Lava lands and the ice lands were literally like big browed Neanderthalic people with bones through their noses who used to go, Me Ugg, me Ugg, I help you, small dragon. And were like really like pushing that kind of shit. Uh, like kind of very like caveman shit. And for some reason they dialed that back. Weird choice, but okay. Um, you know, like fine, that makes sense. And uh, then, what was the other thing they did? They, uh, there's a few other little changes they made. Certain characters are now a lot less, like, talkative, or they changed a few bits of their design. The treetops in the first game were really obviously changed to just be monkeys instead of a horrendous blackface thing, which literally... Uh, they changed the dragon's designs as well, so they actually have, like, accessories and are equipped and do stuff, which is interesting. Uh, have I been there? I feel like I haven't. Oh no, I have. This could do a level. So they really, they fleshed out Sheila, and I was gonna say, Sheila is just like such a nothing character. It's a kangaroo. She's got an Australian accent, because of course she does, because she's a kangaroo, fine. But it was literally, oh, good day, mate, shrimp on the barbie. And you were just like, oh, this is so grating. Make it stop, please. It's so aggressively Australian. Australia intensifies. And you know, it was just like, oh God, make it stop. But now she's actually like, Oh yeah, it's just a twang, and it's a little more like she has, again, accessories and set dressing. And one of my friends doesn't believe me and keeps saying, no, the dragons always used to have shit like that. It's like, the dragons used to have jobs, and they used to be related to stuff, but that doesn't mean that they used to have all of these, like, time belts and, like, hoods and masks and shit. That's all new. Oh, they are called Rhinox. I thought I was being hilarious. They're actually just fucking Rhinox. This is where, and he's just the Caesar, Julius Caesar cat. Emperor cat. Don't tell my cat, he'll want a circle. I remember this and liking it. Uh, honestly, I felt like I dealt on this too harshly, you know. Again, uh, how do you feel about killing things that are literally running away and being, please, no, don't kill me, I don't want to fight you. Do you feel like I'm still the hero? Are you a hero now? Do you feel like a hero yet? Mm. The true Spec Ops the line is actually Spyro the Dragon. Press A to drop white phosphorus on unsuspecting Rhinox who did nothing wrong. Are you a hero now, Spyro? Are you a hero? <laughs> Press circle to annihilate your enemies with napalm. What did they do wrong? They were standing and prancing through a field. How dare they? This is your field now. The dragons own this land, but they left a thousand years ago. Still theirs. Oh, he doesn't look pretty though, so he can die. <laughs> wing wing. What advice do you have for me? Oh, really? 
He's also got a giant chicken leg. I mean, I've got to respect that. No, they're literally running away out of sheer fear. Uh, I actually nearly knocked myself into a food coma today because um, I decided to have like a half loaf of bread, cut it in half, fill it with a free egg omelet because I got some nice organic Japanese um, eggs because China doesn't know what organic is. Um, and that was nice. Oh, thanks. You need not me into the puff. Okay, that's... I don't like that. But we can get around that. <clears throat> and I had some salami, two sausages, and some hot sauce just in a massive sandwich. And then I had a mug of coffee with that, and then I just laid on my fucking sofa like, oh, this was a bad idea for like an hour. <laughs> like, just, oh, why did I eat so much? Because I'm stupid, that's why. Okay, that's nothing. That door's painted on. Uh, I guess we've got to glide. Ooh, and there's stuff up there. But the, oh, choice. Follow the shiny, follow the shiny. The fact that I'm saying fire to these and they're coming back makes me think it'll be one of those mini games, you know? You know the ones. Go back through the level and kill this thing, cause fuck you. Oh, just gonna go up here first. I think this is the one with the egregious skateboarding level. I'm like, seriously, why is this mostly a skateboarding level? Oh, you can't even do the mini game with the other characters until you help them in their home. I should have done the Sheila level first, but it is a Spyro game, so it felt weird for me to like, hey, look, it's Spyro, and immediately play Sheila, Sheila level, so I was, yeah. There seems to be only one of you, though. What if I don't want to zap? I'm anti-zaps. I heard zaps give me autism. There's a giant chicken. The chicken's been killed. Oh, now this proves that they're evil because they kill chickens and no one else does that, so... This justifies the genocide of their race. Oh. I didn't mean to hit you. See, I'm a bully now because I killed all of these cowardly rhinocs. Nice way to establish why they have chicken legs, it's just a bit like, really? All of them went around massacring these chickens? That's a dragon. Oh, he's doing the chicken dance. do that. I kind of remember that though. Why do they have really stereotypically Italian accents when they're like from ancient Rome? It's like, oh, that's the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. What the hell is that? Step into the void? Yes. Oh no, <laughs> the eldritch horror. Let me finish this level first, and then we get back to the rad skateboarding. So, uh, I joke, but I actually like Tony Hawk, so I really like those games. I had fun with them, so I'm being a bit of a dick here, but it's like, you know, TBF. They sound like they're taking the piss. Are they taking the piss? 
Oh, a giant chicken. But if I kill you, I'm no better than the monsters before. I won't kill it because I'm a good person. Every time I say they've gotten more culturally sensitive and they've stopped being so fucking racist with some of these characters, they then double down on certain characters and you're like, oh, oh, why? <laughs> oh, because it's a white culture, so it's not racism. Oh, yeah, cool. But, like, when you're literally going, Oh, mamma mia, my chicken! You're just literally like, Oh my fucking god, this is just such a fucking bigoted room. Oh my, please stop. <laughs> a fine. It's not really fine, but I'm not Italian, so it's like, I just know some Italian, and I like Italy and Italian culture, but, like, apparently, fuck me. And... You know, for liking that because it's something that these people can take the piss out of. Let's go skateboarding and ignore the latent racism that's apparently not racism according to Tumblr. Because I could get pissy about that forever. Way to piss on culture, man. Hey, I found this ancient monument. Let's just do sick grinds all over it. Lizards. Is there a time limit? It's, oh. Hey, it handles okay. Hey, it's those guys from Glimmer again. It's those lizards. Yeah, rad. <laughs> he ate shit. Oh. Oh. Speaking of people eating shit, and I, I mean, this could have been a better segue. Uh, I was when I was coming to look at my new apartment, which I'm in now, uh, and I before I settled on it, I was like rushing to get there because it was a national holiday, so it was really hard to get a cab. And I got in this cab, and the guy literally got about ten minutes down the road, and literally plowed into this poor old man on an e-bike and I was just sat in the car like already late and you just fucking wrecked and like the senior citizen what the hell and the guy was just like oh my god and he got out of the car and like this guy had been fucking smashed off of his bike and I was just sat there because I don't speak enough English and like I, I speak a lot of English I don't speak enough Chinese to be of any functional use whatsoever in an emergency. And I'm like, this is just going to confuse and freak everyone out if I'm there too. But I came across as real fucking cold because basically I just sat in the cab texting like, going to be late because my, uh, my cab driver just fucking KO'd an old guy and he's taken him to hospital now. The guy like taps on the door of his own cab and says to me, Hey, uh, da, 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 in Chinese, and then another passerby who knows English is just like, you're going to need to get another cab, and I just get out of the cab, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of guessed. Uh, can you guys call me a cab? <laughs> I'm just like being such a malignant little shit about it. There's a guy that's literally like fucking smashed his back on the floor going, oh, oh, God, and I'm like, yeah, anyway, I'm going to see a house viewing. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I am the worst I am, like, the problem here, you know? Why are those not half pipes, the other ones? Because it's making it in this guy. Oh, there we go. <coughs> I'm like, I felt like a cold-ass motherfucker, I have to admit. I was just like, wow. Yeah, no wonder people hate foreigners. <laughs> like, yeah. Old man, okay, great. Yeah, he's, he's, he's dying. He wasn't dying. He got up and was like, oh, fuck my back. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know, getting hit at 30 miles an hour on a shitty e-bike with no protection. Yeah, it's probably going to fucking hurt. Wear a helmet. <laughs> also wear some any protection. Ugh. This is why you wear riding gear, everyone. <laughs> 
says the guy who literally only wears a helmet and a slightly heavy jacket and no gloves. I have to buy myself some riding gloves. I just wear these leather, like, fingerless gloves, and it's like, they don't do shit. They don't even stop a stiff breeze, man. Uh, anyway, um, at least I wear a helmet, right? Because that's actually the law here, and nobody does it apart from me, so... Stops cops and people staring at me because I wear a full-face helmet, so they can't work out I'm white, so... <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, it knocks me sideways, okay. Uh, was he up there? He was up there, wasn't he? I forget. I was too busy talking about my horrible experiences. <laughs> oh, like my t like recently, I've come across as a stone cold motherfucker to random strangers, and I feel really bad because it's like the cynicism of dealing with racist Chinese people every day, and people going, "It's death, their culture." That has turned me into a bitter ass, embittered asshole. And it's gotten to the point where I see two Chinese guys, like, snickering in a fucking... Yeah, you massacred those lizards, dude. I don't know why I'm wearing pants now. It kind of makes it weird that I don't wear pants the rest of the time. Like, I think clothes are optional. It's like every type of media with animal creatures, though, right? Uh, anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I was in a convenience store recently just buying some water and I'd just been playing a load of Tekken and working out all day and I was like getting really into playing Fakuram and I was like, yeah, that guy's so cool. And I was doing some Muay Thai practice because I love, I love Thai boxing and I just shadow box in my spare time because I'm crazy. Whatever, shut up, it's not cringy. It's cringy if you think it's cringy. And, um, yeah, I was just sat there like, uh, minding my own business and I see these two like it must have been younger than me Chinese guys in like goddamn fashionable gear and they're kind of like snickering to each other and like looking sideways at me and then they're standing in the way of this really narrow convenience store so I kind of step around them and I, I meant to just like kind of suspiciously look back at them to see if they are racist and are like gawking at me and pointing at me and taking photographs and going, <laughs> like this, because I was just out of interest to see how racist these people are. And uh, instead of just like walking past them and casually looking back, what I actually did was walk past them a pace, turn round, stock still with my shoulders widened and bared, like, you know, like full, like Akuma. <laughs> back showing to the person and looking over my shoulder like mm. <laughs> like this kind of like this is Musatsu <laughs> and I'm just like yeah no I look like I'm gonna fucking murder some guys <laughs> they're just like looking at me like shit we pissed off that guy by just laughing once and like, <laughs> they left the convenience store straight afterwards and I felt like such a dick because I was just like, those guys probably were just confused out of towners who were like, oh, uh, and easily destabilized because they're in their teens. And were like, oh, a foreign guy. Uh, and they were laughing at each, to each other like, oh, I'm so nervous. And then I just look at them and I'm like, mm. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I think I've become the problem. But whatever, like, I don't really give a shit. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure they were kind of pseudo-racist, but they got out of there pretty fucking quick, so apparently it's more xenophobia than racism, so... Whatever, man. No, I didn't mean to do that. Should educate yourself, like, with every phobia, <laughs> like, every fucking misunderstanding of another person's culture. Surprise, surprise. If you just do some fucking research, you realize that they're exactly the same as you. And they're actually about as scary as a wet fire in a microwave. If that's scary. You caught your own shell. Why are you everywhere and why aren't you a collectible? That's weird, man. Should I get them all anyway? Am I doing anything worthwhile with this, or is this just a skill point or something, or am I just destroying the environment? Hello, frog. Uh, kind of 
rude. I mean, the fact that you won't buy them again and they say the same thing and you just kind of like, it locks you in is a little frustrating and I said that about the first game. Should I do it? Oh, that's what I get. Whatever, like we did this. Uh, let's let's move on before I get annoyed again. <coughs> should I cut there? I should probably cut there. Mm. Sunrise spring. Oh, they're called over phases of the sun and moon this time. I think I remember. Maybe last time it was seasons. Anyone got anything to say to me before I uh, change? No? Okay.